this is art. This is StarCraft. Hockey player, right? You see a hockey player. You have my curiosity. The hockey player is the finish line. The hockey player is the finish line. But what do you see behind that hockey player? What creates that hockey player? What made what made you see that hockey player? Well, it's all these little dots. And what do those dots signify in StarCraft? Those dots signify your wins and your losses. And you're going to have a lot of them. A lot of wins and losses. But at the end of the day, from all the wins and losses, some of them are going to be misses. Some of them are going to be successes. But um, if you don't look at each dot as something that's going to like impact you stress-wise, if you look at the bigger picture, you realize that the dot is not that important in regards to worrying about because there's a lot of dots that you're you're going to need to add that are going to matter in the long run and all those dots are accumulating into you getting better and designing what your art is going to be so if you understand that there's going to be a lot of dots that you need to do to even develop your art then one loss is not going to be something that you could be you need to be emotional about because that one loss is like you're not looking at the bigger picture you're looking at the dot and there's many dots that you have to understand and learn and 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 so by looking at one every dot and taking it to heart ego egotistically like it's it's driving you're you're not seeing how to have fun without that stress and the way you have fun is to learn and enjoy your successes as you're learning, you're developing. You're going to win, you're going to lose. But as you keep going, you're getting better and you're going to create your own art. So that's how, um, that's how my games are. My games are a lot of dots and all those dots eventually are going to create some art. But I have to start somewhere. I got to start in some dots. So guess what? I'm going to start on these outside dots because I don't know what I'm doing. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to try this now. I'm getting closer. But you know what? Oh, I'm going to try a different strategy. Oh, I'm back outside the, the, the far end of the art. But you know what? I'm working on that one. And I'm getting closer and closer to what I need to do. And these are the areas that I know how to do it with. But then all of a sudden I change it up again. And so now I'm over here again. And now I got to get closer to the art to understand it. And now that I'm doing that, I'm learning how to understand how to draw the, the arm. I learn how to understand how to draw the leg and the other leg and the head. And every part's different because your strategies are different locations. So when they get closer to the base, it's slightly creating a different approach to the drawing. When somebody plays, when somebody plays like a standard meta, most of the time when they're learning a set of meta, they're learning it from one area all the way to one one section of the art. You're only learning this part, right? So this part is the only thing you learn, and that's the only thing you do over and over again, over and over again, over and over again. And you're like, okay, well, I'm kind of getting bored. Well, you got the rest of the art to do. You just only kept yourself in one area. And if you learn how to, like, open up a little bit, you can start learning how the rest of the art works and you can enjoy that there because there's so much to learn you don't have to be overwhelmed because you know how difficult it is you know how much work you have to do to really create an art um you if you stay in one area that's not going to help you develop the overall understanding of your art that's only going to get you your mmr you know that's only going to allow you to feel happy that you know how to draw a nose or draw a chin you know per se but Drawing the chin or drawing the nose is 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 it's fine and all, but that's not going to create the bigger picture. So you have to develop the other builds, other strategies. And as chaotic as it is, so is art. This is chaos, but it's structured chaos. It's chaos with design. 
It's like chiseling out a statue. You just can't hit it from one side. Start to finish. Uh, you need to make it evolve in the way it shows up. Yeah, I use the statue one sometimes in regards to like something that you don't see that's there, but it takes it's the beauty is always in the block. But you have to chisel out your imperfections, and there's a lot of chiseling to do to be able to understand where how your art is gonna finish. But the art is always there. The art is in that block. It's up to you to chisel it out. And so it's not good to frustrate yourself off of every chisel. Every chisel that you make, you can't frust stress, stress yourself out. You should enjoy and not stress. But what makes us stress out is the winning and losing. We learned in life that winning and losing is important. It's like winning's good, losing's bad. But we never understood that winning and losing is not exactly winning and losing. Winning and losing is just ex understanding where our success and where our failures are. But to win and losing is not really uh, constant. You know, we're always going to change some stuff. So when we worry about winning and losing, when we worry about being first place versus last place, that's when it starts stressing you out. But when you start understanding that it, you're not challenging somebody else, there's no race, it's a journey, then you're no longer worried about being last or third or or second, you know, or you need to be first. Uh, you're no longer worrying about that because you're not worrying about somebody else's progress. You're only worried about what your progress is, only worried about your art. Somebody else has to worry about their art. They have to figure out their picture. They have to understand what they need to develop. You have your own road. You have your own journey. So therefore, you don't have to stress that somebody that you lost because you don't have anybody that you should be leveling with, you know, because some person might tr practice longer and some person might get it faster, understand it faster. Some people might have typing skills that benefit them in certain skills certain parts of this um, some people have thinking skills that help in some of this part but there's going to be different art you know but that's that's how i see starcraft that's why i don't stress out that's why i don't i keep my cool and i just give my respects to the people when i lose because it's helping me keep my eye on the ball Walking is controlled falling. Everyone falls. It's how they react. Yeah, exactly. It's, 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 and it's all in your head. It's all in your head. If you understand it, then it's easier to, to, to grasp it and, and change your emotion on it. Um, but you first have to understand it first. You, someone has to show you the picture or you have to see the big picture. I learned it because I do art. You know, I paint. I do a lot of art. And with art, I learned that a painting doesn't look right in the beginning, but you have to just keep going. And those improvements keep happening and you eventually figure it out and it gets done, but it just takes time to improve the painting. You just have to add more time to it. It's like, oh, it doesn't look good. Okay, well, yeah, put another hour yes. into it or put another day into it. You'll see that it's going to look better than what you just had right now. And put another week into it. You're going to see that there's a big progress now that you have compared to when you first said, I don't like it. It doesn't look good. Because at the end of the day, all it is is time. It's the time that you apply, apply to it. That's the most important part. I see walking. Yeah, nice. So it's like not seeing that you lose part of the block, but freeing the statue. Exactly. Freeing yourself from those chains of failure you know thinking that failure is bad failures if you didn't have a failure you can't appreciate your successes you need failures so that your successes are that much more appreciated and and um and it's that appreciation of your successes that make you do better you keep getting better because you appreciate it now because you realize you know the importance of a fail the, imper the importance of losing when you don't accept a loss personally as a growth then you get frustrated you get stressed 
you get angry, you get all the other emotions that distract you from the real, the real picture. That that is just a dot in your painting, nothing more. Yeah. Take your silver tongue out, spirit, sir. <laughs> Lorencio, you filthy sewer mermaid, Mr. Hanky, steaming piece of shit. I love you and hate you at the same time. Oh, you glorious game-breaking mother trucker.